Hi, Garrett. Oh my God, what was that? So let's try that again. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Your bald headed senpai right here with the knife. So much manga. I didn't even try, like, I haven't even counted how many volumes I might have gotten. But we're just gonna ignore it because, I mean, if it makes you happy, you should do it. With, like, some stipulations and stuff. Moving on. I got a lot of manga this month. Unfortunately, a lot of the manga that I ended up buying was back ordered on right stuff, so it took a bit longer to come in. So like half of the stuff that I ordered, I haven't had a chance to read because it literally came like within the past three days, but that's cool. The last video that I did, I combined my manga haul for the month plus my reading log, but because I have so much stuff that I haven't read yet, I'm actually probably going to try and separate my haul slash unboxing because there's boxes here out of frame and then do my reading log separate. So yeah, I guess now that that's out of the way, we can jump right into it. And yeah, I just want to preface this by saying that this knife is totally for the aesthetic right now. The boxes have already been like cut open, but I haven't really unboxed unbox them so we're all still going to be surprised together but yeah i really don't need this knife at all it just makes me feel powerful and i like that so yeah let's get started i kind of don't know where to start okay we're gonna start with the stuff that i picked up from barnes and nobles slash my local bookstore let's start off with pokemon adventures volume one so I mean, it's Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I grew up watching it. I grew up, you know, playing all the games. So I feel like there's really nothing else to say as to far, as far as like why I would want to get it, want to have it because it's Pokemon. Also, I heard that um, the series is a bit more, a bit more less child friendly than like the show and the games. Like the Pokemon, like legitimately, like get hurt and. All this kind of stuff so i'm kind of interested in revisiting like a childhood classic that's less childhood friendly than i anticipated so yeah next we have zom 100 man until i started watching everybody else's reviews about it tell me why i thought that the title was zoom 100 i mean it's literally like one oh but for some reason like my mind was just like Ooh, zoom 100 but whatever this was great i will go like more in detail with it in my reading log but oh my gosh this might have been like my number one number two read of the month for sure absolutely loved it gorgeous cover like all oh, that big next we have one of my ongoing favorites only two volumes out so far so i picked up this one earlier this month and yeah days of love in sequel villa lesbians falling in love by the seaside you already know what it is so in the last video i showed you guys that i had just picked up chainsaw man 3 because it was at my barnes and nobles and i didn't want to wait for it and i had volumes one and two on order at my local bookstore and they finally came in yeah. <laughs> so i was really excited and really happy to get these guys especially since volume three which is somewhere around here which is looking real sad all by its loathsome being unable to be read so really excited to have gotten these guys and i just love the covers like they're so great all right next um since they announced the anime on netflix i haven't watched it yet because reasons uh but i wanted to try and read it and just my luck that as soon as i like pick it up i realize that like all the other volumes are kind of slowly going out of print so I'll get to like getting the rest of them if I like this one. I wasn't able to read it yet. But yeah, High Rise Invasion Omnibus. Ooh, that's definitely not how you say omnibus. High Rise Invasion volumes one and two omnibus. Yeah, super excited. Another one that I picked up without realizing that it, for the most part, it was pretty much going out of friends. I am a hero omnibus volume one. Yeah, I like zombies apocalyptic dystopian so i was really excited to read this but honestly this was almost a miss for me 
I don't know it just it took a while to get going and once it got going I was all the way in but yeah this, next we have spy vamp I just can't talk today okay spy family volumes two through three I ended up picking up volume one last month and loved it as I'm pretty sure like pretty much everybody in the community loves it because it's amazing oh, it's so good it's so good it's so good it's so good and i hate that i have to wait for volume five until like june like i'm literally dying next we have demon prince of momichi house cover is gorgeous artwork was pretty cool sweet so i actually ended up picking up a couple of used volumes from my local bookstore sorry there's like a tag on there uh, but I picked up Milky Way Hitchhiking, know nothing about it, I just love the cover. It's just pretty and watercolory and gorgeous and yeah, I'm all about that. Oh, and it's actually in color. Hopefully that's not a spoiler, I haven't read anything yet. And I believe that's volume one. Another used one that I ended up picking up, uh, the Wise, Wise Beasts of the Wizarding Wisdoms. No idea what it's about. Next. B stars volumes one and two. I don't think I showed B stars in my last video. If I did, I'm sorry. So since I'm just getting into manga, I'm really, really, really trying not to pick up stuff for anime that I've already watched, just because I feel like my attention span like just won't work if I'm just kind of constantly comparing it to the anime. So. I just heard so many people saying such good things about the manga itself like that the artwork is just like on another level and you know that it goes into a little bit more of like the world building which honestly do stars has some of the best consistent world building like in any type of medium that i've ever watched read yada yada, yada. it's amazing i love it so i picked it up and i was like i'm gonna just go ahead and give it a try and it's so good like i literally rewatched the whole season just so i could get ready for season two ended up picking up the manga like the next day and was still fully engaged fully all of that stuff so amazing wonderful love uh, next we have loose flag volumes one and two another one kind of like spy family and chainsaw man just making it circuit around the community and pretty much everybody absolutely loves it and honestly y'all were right it's amazing i love it and also another one of my absolute favorites of the month was my lesbian experience with loneliness and also my solo exchange vault diary volumes one and two a really 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 amazing autobiographical non-fiction series of manga i will probably do a review at some point because it's it's just really 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 great really amazing okay so that is it as far as sorry something on my phone that's it as far as stuff that i bought at bookstores so now we can move on to some of the boxes that have been opened but i didn't like unpack them minus this stuff so i actually ended up opening one side and then at some point i flipped my box over and then later on opened the other side and then lifted the box and everything just kind of came tumbling out so that's why these guys are open so yeah first up is grand blue dreaming volumes one and two i did a preview for it on the kodansha site and it seemed pretty cool at first but i wasn't like super like into it but then like it's getting closer to summer i live by the beach i love anything ocean related or whatever so i went back reread the preview and picked it up because it's about life on the beach and diving and shenanigans so really excited to try this one <sighs> this is probably the second biggest thing that i was excited for and that is parasite volumes one through eight that is the whole series 
ended up watching the anime on Netflix sometime last month and honestly it's a wild ride. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to make a review about it and compare the anime to the manga after I finish reading all these guys. The anime was just super amazing. Honestly it makes me wish I hadn't like skipped my philosophy class in college because there was just a whole batch of like morality, ethics, philosophy topics and I was just like yo if I had actually like not skipped philosophy class I'm sure I would have like appreciated this like even more than I already am. I am super 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 excited to read these guys. I think the covers are really cool too and the artwork is intense. Okay so here's one just like really cool very like slight body horror stuff going on I loved it. All right, next we have Monster Tamer Girls. I have no idea what this is about, but it looked like Girls with a Dinosaur and I love girls and I love dinosaurs. So I figured why not. So that was all of one box that again, I accidentally like double opened and it just kind of came falling out. I have to say though, Right Stuff really does package their stuff like God tier because even though they fell out, literally none of them were damaged. All right, so there is this box right here. I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but I ended up picking up some Mandroids, which I'm really excited about because I don't have any anime figures that aren't Funkos. Did two of them come? I ordered two. I think one of them, only one of them is here. I don't know if this is necessarily the box. Okay, so this is more mom. They really wrap this, like, oh my God. It's, it's honestly like unswaddling a baby. Like a baby burrito, but it's a manga. A manga burrito. Uh, Samurai 8. I love Naruto. I watched it, you know, growing up and stuff like that on Toonami. And then when there was a hiatus. Actually, I don't think it was a hiatus. It was just like when they were playing other shows or whatever. I ended up buying like bootleg copies off eBay from Japan because I just couldn't wait. I was like 14 or 16 at the time, so don't at me, okay? But yeah, as much as I love Naruto though, I really don't want to read the series now. I don't know, like all of the big stuff that I used to watch, like Naruto, Bleach, Dragon Ball Z, pretty much almost everything that I watched growing up and that I have like a really strong sense of nostalgia for, I just, I don't want to read it right now. Like I don't want to read something that I've, you know, watched and rewatched like a jillion times. With some exception. His other series, Samurai 8, really excited to try it. I think it was canceled, but I'm still really excited to try it because it's space sci-fi shenanigans and I'm all about that. This box. Ooh. Aw, look, anime nutrition facts. I'm like legitimately reading these nutritional facts about this box. Yay! Guys, I'm so excited. First off, let's pull out what we got. Okay, so this is um, Bride's Story Volume 1. Next we have Witch Hat Atlayer, Altier, Atlier, however you want to say it. Volume 1, we got it. Next we have uh, Delicious in Dungeon Volume 1 and Volume 2. I really don't know anything about this except that there's cooking involved, which is really surprising because like I'm a non-cooking bitch, okay? I just don't like cooking. Even cooking eggs is just such a hassle. But for some reason, I really love things about food and things about cooking. And <laughs> it's your boy, Yusuke Hiroshi. Ah! I am so, 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 so excited for this. Uh, it just seems really fitting that like my first anime figure that's not a Funko uh, would be from my favorite anime of all time and probably my favorite protagonist, favorite character in general of all time. I love you, Mark Show to death. I literally rewatch like the whole series in its entirety once every year. And it's so funny because I actually used to hate it when it first came out. I really do be trying to blame myself. That's a story for another time though. But anyway, yeah, so I am super excited about this. He's just so cute. Look at the back. Ah, I think I'm probably gonna keep him that way. So I'm super, 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 super excited. I kind of want to open it now. Maybe I will actually get to use my knife. Thank you. 
Ah! The moon instruction manual. So that's cool that they come with like the different faces and stuff like that. You know what? I'm gonna be smart and not open this right now because I know as soon as I do, I'm probably gonna pull it apart too fast and everything's gonna spill out and I'm gonna be so mad. So let's just look at the menu. like his face comes apart but i don't know how i'm scared i'm gonna like break it oh okay great Jeez, my heart was like pounding oh he got that fade let's put my boy back together look at him he's so small he's so tiny i'm so happy oh my god <laughs> i'm just gonna ugly cry for the rest of this video i'm just gonna like put him like in my shirt or something. okay great you just stay there you stay all right cool so that was my first android yusuke yurameshi from yu hak show the greatest to ever do it and now we are on the last box yeah so i said i wanted to focus on reading stuff that i have no idea what it's about or you know there's an anime about it but i haven't necessarily seen it i made the exception for of course yu yu hak show favorite 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 anime of all time i could literally say that for the rest of my life put it on my tombstone when i'm dead bury me with my nindroid so i ended up picking up the entire series all of it didn't ship a lot of it was like back ordered there's actually i think like five more volumes that are still being held and are gonna get shipped out at some point in time so i can start reading it now but i am super excited i've never read um the manga for it before so I'm excited to have it i'm excited to read it for the first time what i'm probably going to end up doing is just doing like a readathon and probably just binging the whole thing and then doing um you know a review on it just oh you just get your stuff oh, i'm sitting with taste. okay there we go so i just really want to see if in another you know format even though the manga of course comes for the anime if i'm still really gonna like really 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 love it and honestly i think i am look at that i don't know like beyonce could tell me that yu yu show isn't good and i'd be like beyonce i love you but you're fucking wrong like my feelings about it are just really intense um just from having like watched it all the time for forever and i'm sorry that i'm not showing you like 100 percent all the covers yeah, so I actually heard that in the manga, Kurama's hair is actually dark and I think he has blue eyes as opposed to the anime where he has pinkish red hair um, and green eyes. With stuff like that, I'm just really interested in um, checking it out. And then I really like how a lot of the covers from the manga, they're in part of like the first season and a half, the ending credits. So like there's this one of Yusuke like walking. Yep, that's another one that's in the ending credits. Look at my boy! Yes, to go with the drip. Go. Go with Sensui! More. I should be like saying like the volume numbers and stuff, but I'm sorry. Go. Keiko Yukimura! Emboto. Keiko Yay, and number one. I love how I pulled out the last one and it was volume one. Like, I didn't plan that, y'all. It just happened, okay? So there's two other series that are in here. I ended up getting uh, Nozakai-kun, Monthly Girls. It seemed pretty cool and interesting, so I just kind of picked it up on a whim, just, you know, trying different things, different genres. And then the last thing that I got for this month and this haul is Laid Back Camp Volumes 2 and 3. Volume 1 is part of that other package that is still sitting at the warehouse waiting to be filled. So can't read these guys yet, but I'm really excited. I guess like the premise is just that it's about this camping club, which honestly, I used to be a Girl Scout, but nowadays, I am all about staying indoors with my Netflix on and a bottle of wine. I don't necessarily know why Among Us, like specifically about camping seems so appealing, but it honestly just seemed so chill when I was just reading the descriptions about it. And then I just, I love pink haired characters. I really do. So that was another 
kind of draw for me. I think the covers are great. The artwork is, you know, seems pretty cool. Kind of like with the whole cooking manga. I don't like cooking. I don't necessarily hate camping, but like I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon. You know, living vicariously through others, you do what you do. So yeah, that is my manga haul for the month of March. And I am so, 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 so pleased with it. And I can't wait to jump in to read all of the stuff that uh, showed up like literally last week so yeah thank you so much for watching if you got this far yusuke your meshi says you're cool i'm so excited about this y'all look he just fits on the palm of my hand this must be how like parents feel after they bring home their child unconditional love so yeah, if you like this content or are interested in me spreading the gospel of the Hawk show because I'm all about pushing that agenda, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys picked up. If you guys have read anything that I picked up that you really liked. If you have read the Hawk show and you didn't like it, first off, you're wrong. Second of all, take a nap. But yeah, uh, I just like talking. Oh shit, he has cake! Said that one. but yeah i just like talking to people in the comments and hearing you know your thoughts and your recommendations those are super good and you know what you guys are reading this month so senpai out